what has to be the upset of the century. Sometimes the most mundane and routine of plays can provide the greatest moments in a game. Such was the case for TCU in the 1957 Cotton Bowl. The Horn Frogs matched up with a Syracuse team coached by Ben Schwartzwolder, class of 1982, and featured legendary running back Jim Brown, class of 1995. Jim Brown rushed for 132 yards and scored two touchdowns for Syracuse in the first half. Those touchdowns helped the Orange come back from an early 14-0 deficit. In addition to playing running back, Brown was also Syracuse's place kicker, and his successful point after touchdown nodded the score 14-14 at halftime. TCU built another two touchdown lead in the second half, but Syracuse responded scoring on a one-yard touchdown run by Brown to cut the deficit to 28-20 with just over five minutes to play. The Cotton Bowl Stadium thundered with sounds of shouting TCU fans as Brown lined up for this third extra point. It was at this moment something routine became great for the Horned Frogs. Syracuse and Nick Bassel, who was unsure of the snap count, turned back to the holder for last-minute instructions just as the ball was snapped. This error allowed TCUN Narciso Mendoza, known to his teammates as Chico, to smother the kick and keep Syracuse's deficit at eight. The Orange recovered later, scoring on their next offensive series with just one minute left to play on a 27-yard touchdown pass from Charles Zimmerman to Jim Ridler. This was before two-point conversions were legal, so Jim Brown calmly kicked the point after to make the score 28-27. Syracuse kicked the ball deep, opting to not attempt an onside kick. The Horn Frogs were able to grind out the remaining time and left the field Cotton Bowl champions. Their first postseason victory since 1939, a Sugar Bowl victory that earned them a national title.